A combination of theoretical classes, practical labs, and technical projects can make engineering degrees some of the most difficult degrees to complete. But what if I told you there is a shortcut? Well, if you're currently in high school, then you can take advantage of your time and essentially take a shortcut by taking these five fundamental engineering classes. Number one, chemistry. This class will cover the fundamental principles and theories and emphasize on chemical calculations, kinetic molecular theory, atomic structures, the periodic table, solutions, and oxidation reduction. Number two, calculus one. This class will cover concepts like limits, derivatives, applications of differentiation, definite and indefinite integrals, and the fundamental theorem of calculus. Number three, physics one. This class will cover dynamics and statics of particles and rigid bodies, harmonic vibrations, and fluid mechanics. Number four, computer science introduction. So this class will be an introduction to algorithms, their representation, design, structuring, analysis, and optimization. This is typically done in a high level programming language like Java, Python, or C++. And finally, number five, calculus two. This class will cover techniques of integration, numerical integration, improper integrals, and applications of the integral, Taylor polynomials, sequences, and series, and of course the power series. So the classes mentioned will be required at any university if you are planning to become an engineer. And if you take their corresponding AP test, then you can get ahead by almost an entire year. From my experience, these classes filter out a lot of the new engineering students. But I did notice something, and my advice to you is that if you really want to become an engineer, but you're struggling in any of the classes mentioned, please don't give up. Because engineering isn't about these classes, but these classes are necessary for engineering concepts. Anyway, that's it for this video. If you have any more questions, please leave a comment down below. And if there are enough questions, I will make a Q&A about anything you want to know. So leave the questions below. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.